Yo, what's up guys? Togoman here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the full Magnet Fruit Showcase, how to get it, and everything you need to know about this fruit. But before I get into it, if you guys are new to my channel, want to see more showcases, more guides, you guys already know. Subscribe guys, turn on that bell. And if y'all haven't joined my Discord yet, join it. We do a lot of giveaways in there. We have people teaming up for boss fights, for raids. We even have a trading chat and it's the overall chill server. If you guys want to join our Discord, it'll be in the description and comments below. And if you guys stay till the end, I got two things to give away. So stay till the end and see what they are. But other than that, let's get straight into the showcase. All right, we're going to be showing the damage on this thing in uh, Smoker Island. So let's head there real quick. All right, so we're at Smoker Island now. And here are my stats, guys. I got max stats. To make it even more like straight damage, I'm going to take off all my accessories. All right, as you guys can see, I have no armor on at all. So let's do this. All right, all right, so we have about five moves, guys. No M1s at all. All right, so our first move is uh, Electromagnetic Repel. We're going to be using it on Smoker. See how much damage this thing does. Hold our Q. And then we release. Yeah, that did a lot of damage, guys. The damage will be shown on the screen how much it did. And for those who just want to see the effects, here it is for you guys. Let's go hit that tree. Bam. And the cooldown is pretty quick. I'll show you guys how long it is. I'm going to do it by like clicking it till it works again. Let's go start it now. All right, it's about five seconds. It's a quick move. All right, all right. The next move we're gonna be trying is the electromagnetic rush. It's our E. Here it is. As you can see, it builds up on your arm. And if you release, and this one dashes you forward, so you kind of want to be back. And here's how much it does. Bam! Look at that. The damage will be shown on the screen how much it did exactly. It's also cool too because you don't have to hold it guys. You could literally just bam. Alright, now for those who just want to like see the effects, I'm gonna go up close and look at that guys. Look at my arm. And then kabam. And I'll in the cooldown, I'll do it again. Go spam it. Bam. Oh, it's about five seconds as well, guys. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Now we're gonna be showing out the R move. This one is it's a cool move, guys. Let's see how much damage it does. Here it is. Bam. Oh, that thing is pretty strong. Look at that, about, about halfway. The damage it did, it'll be shown on the screen. Go finish him off with it. Kabam. I think this move has like long range too. Look, I made that tree over there. Yeah, it does. That's crazy. I forgot to show you guys the range on the Q as well. Here it is. Basically long range. E, not too much. And for those who want to see the effects for the R move, here it is. Got clean that ball looks. But now, but now let's go test out the cooldown on the R move. Bam. Let's see how long. Yo, it's about five seconds as well, guys. All right, next move is a doomed punk, guys. Here it is. It's our F. Bam. We're gonna hold it and release. Oh, that's pretty decent amount of damage. The damage again. It'll be shown on the screen. Go kill him. And bam. Look at that. The doom punk is also a range move. You can see it shoots pretty far. And for those who want to see the effects for the doomed punk, here it is, guys. We can just hold it. Look at that thing. It's a nice model. You can release. And the cooldown for this thing. Bam. Let's see how long it is. It's about literally five seconds as well. I think they're all five seconds. Maybe the last move, the ultimate, is probably like 10 seconds, but we'll see. All right. All right. And now the last move, Punk Gibson. This is just like the E kinda, but it's just a longer move. As you can see, look at that thing, look at that arm. 
And if you release it, bam. The damage will be shown on the screen. That did a lot of damage. As you can see, it's taking a while to like do it again too. Let's go kill him. Let's go kill this dude though. But here is the effects for it. This thing is huge. Look at that thing. The range. Not too far. And the cooldown. Let's go try this. Now. Yeah, it's over five seconds. Let's see how long it keeps going. Yeah, guys. It showed about around 10 seconds, I believe. Yeah, that's like the longest cooldown right there. Now, let's go try out the AoE on this thing. Just how much, just how far does this thing hit? Do these moves hit? So our Q move, let's go hit the middle. Oh, it's all of them. Now let's go try out the E move. The rush. All right, let's go dash forward. Yo, yeah. The hit from there, there, and there. Now we just gotta try out the globe. This thing is not bad. It's actually hitting like it's actually hitting like everyone. Now here's the globe move. Bam. Yeah, this thing got range, you guys. It's hitting everyone right now. Now we even now we have the doomed punk. Let's go aim down at it. I got a marine hat as well. Killed all these dudes. And then last but not least, Punk Gibson. Do I don't think this will hit all of them. I feel like I mean we'll see. Yep, never mind. It's actually hit all of them. Yeah, that's the magnet food showcase for you guys. I'm going to give this an overall rating of like probably like an 8 out of 10. Y'all let me know your thoughts on this fruit. What would you guys rate this fruit? But yeah, now I'm going to show you guys how to get the magnet fruit. So let's go ahead to log 10 real quick. All right, we are here. Basically, you can get this fruit just like any other fruit, guys. You literally have the merchant shop here to buy fruits. You go to the store, the Robux one. And uh, you could also get it through raids. Raids have a 100% drop chance of fruits. So let's keep getting them raids. Maybe you'll get it. You can do the maze as well. Even the gear 4 dungeon, I believe, it gives it as well. And, and there's also the boss. But he doesn't drop it. He does drop his accessories, though. And I'll show you guys where the magnet fruit boss is at. Follow me. You want to head to second C. It'd be cool if he could drop it, but... He only drops his accessories. Let's go ahead there now. He has his own island. And it's all the way back over there. Behind Wano. If you want to make it easier. Bring out your island tracker. And... Right here. Onigashima. Just follow this all the way there. Alright. We are here guys. So, let's go set our spawn point, and you basically want to talk to the quest right here. As you can see, kid, and he should be just right here, guys. Follow me this way, and bam, kid. You get his goggles and you get his cape if you defeat him. All right, we are back where it's bright. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, where boss is at. That's the magnet food showcase. Y'all let me y'all let me your thoughts on it. All right, now for the giveaway, guys. I'll be giving away two magnet fruits. One in my Discord and one in the video right here. If you want to join the Discord one, go to the description and comments. Click on the Discord link, join it, and we actually give away going on in there. And for the video, just comment down hashtag magnet fruit. I'll be using a comment ticket to pick a comment who says that. But keep in mind though, guys, you g it only picks those who are subscribed. So y'all have two chances. Good luck on the giveaways. I'll be streaming later, giving away a lot of stuff. So stay tuned, turn on that bell. And yeah, peace.